welcome back to my channel. I know I look extra rough right now. First of all, I just woke up and um, I'm also finishing up my hair. So today I'm gonna to be doing a day in the life uh, video. I thought that would be really fun just to show you guys um, what I do in a day. Of course, right now we're all at home, so not really doing much, but um, for what I am doing, you know, I thought it would be fun just to take you guys along with me. So um, I actually started on my hair last night. Um, as y'all can see, I'm doing some mini twists and I'll show y'all the after when I'm done. Um, and I woke up this morning to finish. So I am extremely tired. Um, I have just been sleeping very bad these past few nights. Um, either it's like waking up to pee or it's literally like I've been trying to sleep, kind of like sitting up because my hips hurt so bad when I lay down so just trying to find a solution to those things and so far I'm having a lot of trouble so um just a small mini update uh, we do have a hurricane coming um I believe tomorrow actually it's two hurricanes coming but one is not as severe as the other one so um, we have been preparing for that. We've got going grocery shopping and got everything that we pretty much need to sit through the storm. Oh Lord, see, I know I should have clipped that part off. Dang it. Okay, let me just clip this. Okay, so yeah, we got everything that we pretty much need to to um, sit through the storm. So we're um, kind of just, you know, hoping that it isn't as bad as they say it's going to be. Um, the first one is Hurricane Marco, which isn't as severe. I believe it's category one. And then um, Hurricane Laura is supposed to be a category three. So I have a lot of friends that live in like the Beaumont, Louisiana area. We're gonna have YouTube. What's up? No, I'm just checking on you. Oh, I'm here. Teaching these kiddos. Okay, so for y'all who don't know, Jerry's working from home, so yeah. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> I have a lot of friends that live in like the Beaumont, Louisiana area, so they've all been. Um, told to evacuate a mandatory evacuation so i'm feeling like it might be pretty bad but it always floods really bad in like louisiana and beaumont so honestly i'm not too sure but still we're kind of just preparing for the worst um so that's honestly really all that's kind of going on as of right now um, just trying to get that together and I just took my braids down so I wanted to wash my hair and kind of just do something that would last a long time or like a little while so I don't have to be all in my head. As y'all can see I'm literally sitting in this chair because my feet were hurting from standing up so long so um sitting down while I finish this and then I'm actually probably going to go ahead and go get my, well, I was going to go to my iPad to finish watching Jane the Virgin, but I barely really have any, but so I'm probably just going to go ahead and finish. But yeah, I'll be back to you guys once I finish my hair. All right, so if you guys kind of just want to, I guess, see the process of me <clears throat> doing this, um, I mean, I'm not going to actually do like a tutorial but if you want me to, I definitely can. Um, but this is only my second time doing this style, but I like to do it, or at least I learned that I like to do it on blow dried hair rather than um, wet hair, only because my shrinkage is like beyond disrespectful. Y'all please just go not. Ignore my shirts, okay? Everything is too small now. Y'all know I'll be 31 weeks. Um, this week, actually tomorrow. So, yeah, while I'm closer, getting a little snuck. But, um, yeah, so I actually didn't blow dry my hair, but I washed it really good and deep conditioned with the Myer, um, Myel Organics um, Babasu Oil and Mint, I think is what it is. 
deep conditioner and um i rinsed it out and then basically like braided my hair into individual sections and let that air dry overnight so basically what i'm doing is using the shining gel um i'm using that at my roots just so my flyaways and everything will be laid down um i use this when i do my marlin twist i feel like it kind of just lays your section down a lot better so I'm using that at the root and then making sure that I grip the root really tight or as tight as I can just to kind of make it um, pretty flat and then I just start twisting. So after twisting for a little bit, I kind of do put like a little bit more shiny gel on my fingers, just like a tad um, to make sure that my twist is firm. And then I comb out the ends with a rat tail comb and then put some leave-in cream on the end. So the one that I'm using is the African Pride. Um, I really do like this one, it's pretty moisturizing. And honestly, when I use that, I don't have to use anything else on my hair but that. So I really like to use that one. So I'm gonna comb over my ends one more time. I just like to make sure that they're smooth after all that product has gotten in there. And I'm gonna twist all the way down to the ends and then coil it around my finger. And it might look straight right now, but it'll definitely, you know, curl back, curl up in a second. But the reason I don't use it <clears throat> on my full twist is really because, um, you know, I don't want my hair to shrink up. So I use it only on the ends just to make sure that the end is sealed and moisturized. And I was using my, um, and I have like a mirror, so I was using my phone to part my hair but now that I've kind of just like parted everything I'm really just parting the sections based off of how it feels so if it feels super thick then I kind of just take some away like this is a pretty good section right here so I'm gonna go ahead and part this back off we'll put it back in the clip and then I'm gonna do the same steps where I use the shining gem at the roots and then I kind of just smooth that down just to make sure that it's kind of all over that piece of hair. And then I also like to go in and maybe like comb it in a little bit because it makes the hair like a lot stiffer. And then go ahead and complete the same steps. So twist it really tight at the roots. And then just start twisting down. I'm honestly probably gonna take a break um, in a second because I am kind of hungry since I started this as soon as I woke up um, so I don't know what I feel like eating but I really want some cereal y'all who don't know cravings cereal is my biggest one um, I can literally eat cereal every day Lucky Charms is a big one Cinnamon Toast Crunch and now all of a sudden Cheerios so I went ahead and got me some Cheerios and so that's a fresh box in there that I'm very excited to pop open and <laughs> yeah so I think I'm actually just gonna go ahead and finish this little section right here this right here and then go ahead and take a break and eat because when I'm morning hungry it's not pretty because I'll be starving now doing the top of my head it's like well not like the top but like the middle part i try to make sure that it's full of twist in the middle too and not just like you know empty because of i'm twisting to the side so i kind of like part that middle part like these i can kind of pull forward to help me out a little bit but the ones at the top i actually go behind my head and twist those um so that the back of my head is just as full as the sides I'm tired as hell. I hate doing my hair now. Like, I think that's why um, I have braids all the time because doing my natural hair is really just so time consuming and it's tiring. So, but I'm getting my hair done. Um, no time really soon, but like mid September for my maternity pictures. And I'll also be doing a vlog of that. Um, but mid-September for my maternity pictures, 
I will get in some um, some soft locks. Those are basically like faux locks, but they're not like the stiff ones. They're crocheted, but they're like individual. So it's gonna be my first time having those, but I don't know. I just feel like they'll be really cute. And I'm also gonna have those for when I go into labor as well, because they should last about four months or so. So this is what I meant when I say I go behind my head. So I kind of take the twist and then actually start twisting while I'm on the top of my head. And it is really hard for me to do this. And then I kind of bring it to the side. So hopefully the back of my head don't look dumb as shit because I haven't looked at it. So y'all got the first look. So y'all tell me if I look dumb as hell. But oh Lord. She's in like started moving while I'm standing up now. And it feels so weird. It's like if you stand up and all of a sudden you just feel like these big ass jabs and it's weird. <sighs> all right, well, I'm about to take a food break. So I will come back to you guys once I make my breakfast. I have my cereal. I'm gonna eat in bed. All right, you guys, so I did just finish with my hair. i um, not like a huge fan of it right now. It's just kind of stiff and not really stiff, but like just kind of flat. So I'm just going to kind of, you know, um, like sleep on it for a few days and then see where it goes. I might end up putting the front up a little bit because I just feel like it might look better. But um, I kind of have a headache right now, so I'm really just laying in the bed. Um, watching Jane the Virgin and kind of really just chilling out for the day. Um, I had a few school assignments to do, so I worked on those. And now I'm just going to kind of relax for a little while. And I will continue to vlog when I'm actually doing something productive. All right, so I am now eating lunch. Um, this is what I'm going to be eating, a tuna sandwich with some chips. And this is my favorite yogurt. This stuff is amazing, y'all. I'm telling you, if you haven't tried it, you need to go try it. And still watching Jane the Virgin. So literally, that's what my day has been. All right, well, it's been a little minute since I've updated you guys. I am currently cleaning up the house and bathing my dog. He looks miserable. Um, but yeah, oh, my back is killing me, shit. So I was um, vacuuming and then um, I went ahead and gave well, I'm giving Moon a bath right now, and I have to sit down because my back is on fire. Like that. It's like my lower back, it hurts really bad. Oh, shit. But, um, yeah, so after I finish bathing him, then I'm going to vacuum the bedroom and then vacuum out his bed, and then I'll be done. And that should be about it. Then I'm going to figure out what I'm cooking for dinner, I guess, because... I didn't cook yesterday, so I guess it's only right for me to cook today. So we'll see. All right, so I just want to give you guys a small bump date. So this is my 31-week bump. I just moisturized, so um, as y'all can see, my belly button is sticking out a little bit. And I have a few stretch marks, but not anything too major. Um, I wanted to show you guys these underwear here. So basically, they are um actually pregnancy panties that i got from amazon and i really like them because they don't like cut across your stomach or anything they like sit right below your stomach so they're really comfortable um and i've been wearing these pretty much since i've been about 10 weeks or so so yeah they're really comfortable especially now being a little bit bigger so let me show y'all one more time so they fit like right below your stomach so they're just a little bit more comfortable than um i guess regular panties would be so that's why i like them um i just wanted to show y'all or update you guys on the products that i've been using so far well not so far because y'all know i had a whole routine but i switched that out recently um so this is what i've been using on my belly silky skin custard um i really like this i found this on another youtuber's channel i'll link her channel below 
And then mm -hmm. this is also um, rose hip oil that I've been using on my face as well as oh, my yeah, belly. Both of those are really good. Um, I like the Silky Skin Custard. It has um, shea butter, jojoba oil, vitamin E, olive oil, coconut oil, and um, a few scents, extracts for scent, green tea, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it really does moisturize. I could just use that by itself, but I just like the extra shine that the rose hip oil gives me. So that's why I really like to use that one. So I just finished bathing my dog and now I just got myself together. So I'm kind of just straightening up the house a little bit. Um, about to make up the bed and figure out what I'm cooking for dinner. And then I have to get these clothes folded. So that's pretty much it for right now. Um, and I'll get back to you guys once I start making dinner. All right, you guys, so I completely forgot to give you guys an update. I took a nap. Um, I was a little tired and didn't really realize it. So went to sleep and instead of cooking, um, we're actually going to order pizza, which we already did. So it should be on the way. And yeah, so today really just consisted of straightening up the house and kind of getting things together. Um... And that's honestly pretty much it since it's not much to do. So, wow. So, I definitely forgot to end the vlog. Um, I got two pages all on my shirt. But I'm about to go to bed. Um, the rest of my day was not really productive. Uh, we ordered pizza instead of me cooking dinner and pretty much chill for the rest of the evening so i finished jane the virgin so now i am about to go to bed i'm super tired it's 2 a.m the storm is supposed to hit around six or so so i'm gonna go ahead catch some z's and i just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see y'all in my next one bye